Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so this video, uh, as you can, I mean, if you, you must have seen in the title that this is about how to basically prepare for SRE or DevOps interview. Uh, this has been requested a lot by my subscribers, uh, some of my friends, uh, people in the industry uh, over the LinkedIn, right? So they wanted me to do a video on this basically. So in this video, I'm actually going to tell you basic uh, two things. Uh, first, what you must have for an SRE or a DevOps role, the skills, right? And few things I'll tell which are good to have. I mean, if you have them, if you know about them, that's well and good. If you don't, uh, hardly matters, at least for an interview. Maybe you would need them when you join that company for that particular role. But for the interview, it won't uh, matter a lot. All right. So let's get started. Uh, first thing, and I'll put the uh, list uh, in the description as well, on the screen as well, right? So you don't need to worry about that. So number one is system administration skills. So whether I mean you're going for Linux system, or you're going for a DevOps SRE role, uh, it, whether the company has a lot of presence of Linux systems or Windows system, system administration skills are like must. So you must know, I mean, since I have been working for almost like for 10 plus years on Linux systems. I don't have much exposure on the Windows side, but uh, yeah, so Linux system administration skill, I can say I have a good understanding of how Linux work. So you should be very familiar with file systems, uh, basic commands, right? Uh, running commands, and you should be like, I mean, just be familiar with the, the environment or the kind of role you have applied for. I mean, whether it's Windows or Linux, system administration skills are like the primary thing because uh, in, an, in an interview, you would be asked a lot of questions which are very basic to a particular OS, whether it is Windows or Linux, right? In fact, I ask a lot of uh, Linux basic questions when I have to interview someone for an SRE or DevOps role. All right, that's number one. Number two is scripting. Uh, Bash is scripting for Linux guys, Bash and Python basically, uh, PowerShell for Windows. Uh, bash scripting, I am not saying that you should know very high level, uh, very advanced level bash scripting, but you should be at least able to automate some trivial tasks, right? That uh, because an, in an interview, from the interview perspective, you might get questions. I mean, the person would actually give you questions uh, to write small shell script, like one liner scripts. So you, you would, you might get that, right? Say a very common question in interviews is like, you are given a log file, uh, a web server log file, and you have to filter out uh, all the unique IP addresses. Eh? That can be done in a single line bash command, right? So that those kind of things you, you must be familiar with. Uh, another uh, must have skill is troubleshooting. So in uh, an SRE or a DevOps interview, you would definitely get troubleshooting questions, right? Uh, troubleshooting, uh, for an example, say, like what I mostly give is uh, when I'm opening a web uh, website, I'm getting a 502 error. So how would you troubleshoot? So what basically the interviewer is trying to see is your approach toward a problem. Uh, how would you approach this problem, right? We are not looking for right or wrong answer because 502 can come because of n number of issues, right? So we're not looking for the correct answer. It's, it's your approach which a person wants to see. How would you approach a troubleshooting uh, problem? So whether you have that mindset or not, right? So that's, that's one uh, thing. And the last point which you should be like in and out with is the current, uh, uh, basically the knowledge of your current project on which you're working on or in, I mean, your current application, if, you, if you're supporting a SaaS application, how that works. I mean, basically the most of the interviews actually start with that question. I also start the questions with that. I ask the person, what they're working on currently and if they know in and out about that particular thing, right? So that, so for an example, like I have been working with a lot of SaaS companies, right? So as uh, I am pretty well aware of how my application is deployed, how do we do CI CD for that particular application, how we do monitoring for that application, uh, how we do updates to that particular application, right? So these kind of things uh, you should be familiar with, with your current project or your current application which on which you're working on. Uh, these are like the four or five points which you should be ready with when you're going for an SRE or a DevOps interview. 
some uh, good to know things I, and let's talk about those so in those the number one thing is infrastructure as code so if you are familiar with uh, tools like terraform cloud formation uh, cloud specific tools right which actually help you build uh, uh, infrastructure that's a good thing to know uh, never in the interview you would see any interviewer asking you questions on terraform like i mean some may ask like what are state files and stuff like that but 90 percent of the time you won't see people asking you terraform question direct terraform or cloud formation question same goes uh, with the next point which i have is config management tool right so config management tool ansible chef uh, puppet whatever you've been working on you if if you have worked on well and good if you don't know that uh, never in an interview at least i don't ask and i have given like hundreds of interviews and rarely i have been asked direct questions from chef uh, i think once or twice right or ansible once or twice so it's very rare people asking direct questions from these tools because these are something which you can learn when you go in the company right because every company has a different implementation of these tools, right? It's not uh, vanilla implementation. So they have different implementation and they know that when you'll come in the system, you'll learn about that. Uh, next is a very popular topic, Kubernetes, right? So if you know Kubernetes, it's good. If you know about the Kubernetes uh, primitives, how Kubernetes work, how you deploy an app application on Kubernetes deployment pod, if you know that, that's, that's well and good. Uh, never have I ever seen anyone ask me question directly from Kubernetes and it's it's like because people themselves are not very clear about the concepts of Kubernetes right that is why you tend to avoid things which you don't uh, fully understand and that's that's a, that's a good thing so I mean although companies have implemented now Kubernetes you you have you will see Kubernetes running in production systems in a lot of companies but still you won't get direct question because again implementation is in every company there's a different implementation of kubernetes they build it differently they deploy it differently they have uh, i mean they're doing it things they're doing things very different from what you learn when you're learning kubernetes right and the last thing is ci cd so ci cd would probably be covered in, in the type of question like in your what you're doing in your current project and how you build or deploy your current project uh, mostly people cover ci cd in that but if if you're familiar with how to build pipelines uh, in git uh, how to basically do git ops uh, and things like that that's good uh, you won't you won't get direct questions uh, for ci cd like like build a pipe show me how you are going to build a pipeline nobody's going to ask that so that's that's the last thing i think probably i have on my list yeah uh, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So if, if you are familiar with all the points which I have told you, which are like must have for an SRE interview, I think you're good to go and crack any SRE interview or DevOps interview easily. Uh, and and, I'm, and this thing is like a continuous process, right? So continuous process of learning. So there, there will be no one right answer for this question, but I tried to like summarize things, uh, what, what would be needed, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you like the videos guys. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.